Imagine you're in one of those dystopian movies where you're born into this world with a predestined role. Maybe you're given the role of a teacher, a firefighter, or maybe a scientist. The thing is, you don't get any say about what role you're given, and you don't get to trade with anyone. You are stuck with what you get. Now imagine that you're not in a movie, and that's the life that you actually have to live. Because that's kind of what I had to go through, but obviously not as extreme. For a little backstory, I was born in the Philippines and my family moved to Madison, Wisconsin when I was four years old in search of better opportunities. This didn't really have any effect on me during my childhood, but it definitely did when I was in high school picking out my college classes. The reason for that being my parents were very stereotypical in the fact that they wanted me to either become a doctor or an engineer. Now, keep in mind, those were two career paths that I absolutely knew I didn't want to take. But there was always this weight on my shoulders that pressured me to go down those paths because I thought they were the only paths that I could take in order to make my parents proud. Which leads me to why I'm here today. I'm speaking today to hopefully help you find the right path that fits for you. Now, I'm not saying that I have my path 100% figured out or that I know the secret steps that someone has to take in order to find their own path. However, I'm here to share with you my experiences and the things that I went through that set me on my path and hopefully from those experiences, you can discover tools that will help set you on the right path that fits for you. So let's just take it back a little bit to my senior year of high school. Although I was very hesitant to do this, I ended up picking out my college classes to put me on track of becoming an engineer. So entering my first couple semesters in college, I kept switching my majors. I always felt lost and generally I just had no idea what I was doing. At one point, I had even switched to being a business major, but I was taking completely unrelated classes like anatomy and physiology, chemistry, and psychology all in the same semester. I was lost. I was running around aimlessly just trying to get by. And that went on for about a year and a half until I realized that the reason I felt so lost was because I was spending all of my time and energy trying to make my parents happy and doing what I thought they wanted me to do. After I came to that realization, I made the decision to stop my college education and pursue a different path that would make me happy instead. And although it was hard for me to face my parents and tell them that I was going to start doing my own thing and that there was nothing they could do to change that, I am much happier now than I was four years ago. And that's one of the messages that I want to send to those of you who find yourselves in a similar situation. You have to realize that you should be living your life for yourself. At the end of the day, you're the one in the driver's seat so you should be the one who decides where the car is going. After I figured that out for myself, I finally felt free of the weights that were bringing me down. I felt like I could do anything that I wanted to, but there was another obstacle I had to get past. I felt free, but I still felt lost. I had finally broken out of the role that I felt was imposed onto me, but I still had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. It was like I was in some sort of limbo, like I was, in a place where I was just living and I was watching the world move ahead of me. Afraid of wasting more time than I already had, I started asking everybody closest to me what they thought I should do with my life and what they could see me doing. At that time, my dream was to move to LA, but I still asked other people if that was the right thing to do so that I could have some sort of validation. And I asked pretty much everyone in my life their opinion. And surprisingly, the people closest to me were the ones who discouraged me from pursuing my dreams. And so I kept asking people until I got that one answer I was waiting to hear. Little did I know I made a mistake in that approach because by the time I got that one answer I was waiting to hear, I had heard so many other opposing opinions that I was being weighed down again and I was being discouraged again from pursuing my dreams. And that's another thing that's gonna happen during this process. You're going to make a lot of mistakes. And I'm sure you've all heard this before, but you should not be afraid to make mistakes. Use your mistakes as lessons and learn from them. Although mistakes might not be the most pleasant experiences, they're a part of the process and you just have to trust the process and trust that everything will work out in the end. The mistake I learned from that lesson is that you shouldn't be asking other people what they think you should be doing with your life. Instead, ask people about their lives. Ask them what they wanted to do after high school, what they ended up doing and all the things that happened in between. And don't just ask one or two people either. Ask as many people as possible. 
because you can learn so many lessons from life from people who have already been through it. And there are a lot of lessons to learn in life. One of them being that finding your own path is a process. It's not just gonna come to you overnight and it shouldn't come to you overnight. Be patient and take the time to figure it out. Measure twice and cut once. I've said it before and I'll say it again. You have to trust the process. If there's one thing I want you to take away from this speech, it's to trust the process. And you can apply this mindset to so many other things than just your post high school plans. Maybe you're learning to play the guitar, but you can't seem to get the chords right. Or maybe you run every day, but you can't seem to cut your mile time any shorter. Or maybe you're writing a paper and the first 10 drafts don't satisfy you. The scenarios to apply this mindset are endless, but in every scenario, you have to trust the process. And the process can be a long journey. So don't forget to enjoy every step of the way. Once you can experience the benefits of trusting the process for yourself, you'll be able to live your life with less stress knowing that everything will work out in the end.